Hi guys, my name is Diana and welcome to the March episode of Inno Games TV. On this episode, we have a bunch of fun goodies for you, so let's see what those are. We start the show off with Elvenar introducing fairies. Then, Forge of Empire shows us their brand new Easter event. Afterwards, Travel Wars 2 has a strange visitor, while Travel Wars shows us their upcoming Nobles Fair event. The West is back with Andreas explaining to us the Fort Battle Championships. Last but not least, Niels from the Grepolis team tells us about their new feature on the mobile apps. Do you remember last year when the Elvenar team previewed an upcoming new race? Well, it's here, and it's the fairies. Let's see what Timon has to say about that. Hello Elvenar players! It's Timon from the Elvenar team. In case you miss Oliver, and you should, the guy who is usually at my side in our TV episodes is on vacation this week. Enjoy your holiday, Oliver! Tons of work is already eagerly anticipating your return. Now, what's new in Elvenar? Actually, quite a lot. It has been a while since the dwarves moved into your Elvenar towns, and now that you brought them back to former glory, it's time to help another race return to the lands of Elvenar, the fairies. The fairies is our newest chapter in the research menu. Of course, it has all the typical stuff that you would expect in a new chapter. New map expansions, squad size upgrades, many new culture buildings and upgrades for most of your existing buildings. But let's focus today on the completely new stuff. First of all, once your dwarves moved out of your town to found their own cities, you can build up a new settlement for the fairies. The fairies are talented gardeners. Soon the settlement can produce all kinds of different plants and even some animals. Every option in your new fairy farms produces something different. And of course, every production has a different time. Some productions will even require other productions. For instance, you will need silk to produce velvet. And you will need both cocoons and dream sheep to produce the most precious soma. We hope you will enjoy this new kind of farming challenge. The fairy race will also receive two updates shortly after launch. The first one is two new ancient wonders, which will again have very unique effects. The first one focuses on your supply production, the other one improves your trading skills and boosts your guest race productions. The second update will finally add new battle units to the game. There is a new barracks-like building, the mercenary camp, where you can train the two fairy units. They come with new abilities, both can fly over obstacles. Besides that, one of the units is more defensive, able to cast a protection spell on allies, while the other one is more offensive and can attack twice per round. I know you were waiting for the next guest race for a long time. I want to say thank you for your patience. In fact, the team learned a lot during the implementation of the fairies, so we hope that future content updates will be much faster. I wish you a lot of fun with the fairies. As always, please post your thoughts about them in the forums and help us to design an even greater guest race next time. So long and keep on playing! Let's give a happy welcome to T and Kai, who are doing their first InnoGames TV video together. And they're doing it with an upcoming Forge of Empires Easter event. So let's see what that's about. Hi Forge fans, I'm T and this is Kai, and we're your game designers on Forge of Empires. You may be wondering why we have these ears, but we're here to explain to you the brand new Easter event. So let's hop into the game. In this year's Easter event, much like last year, the main goal is to gain eggs and spend them. This year though, the main way you get eggs is through Quest. Again, you'll help Greva with some of her tasks, but another advisor got into the Easter spirit, so you have to play to find out who it is. Another way to gain eggs is to collect it through the town hall every day. And finally, because it's Easter, we want you to hunt for eggs, so you'll be able to find eggs in the wooded areas around your city. The hidden eggs are triggered upon your first login of the day, when you finish an Easter quest, or when you buy chests. Speaking of chests, T, I think it's time for me to explain our brand new Easter shop. In this new shop, you will see three different chests. One of them is bronze, one of them is silver, and one of them is gold. And they will all hold different amazing prizes and rewards. And on top of that, uh, on top of the regular rewards, there's also a daily special prize in them that will rotate every day. Opening the chests will also give you tulips, which fill up the grand prize progress bar. And once that is filled up, you will get the grand prize of this year, which is a new shrine. And you might remember these cool shrines from the last year. It's the Shrine of Knowledge and the Shrine of Awe. And this year, it's a brand new one. It's called the Shrine of Inspiration. 
And actually, it's really powerful. That's why we decided to make it a bit bigger than the last ones. And it produces blueprints when it's motivated. The best thing about this grand prize, however, is that you can win it multiple times. But wait, there's more. We have several other cool buildings for you this year, too. You can win the Faubergé shop, which produces supplies, a Wisteria topiary, which is a nice decoration, and last but not least, a new military building, the Color Guard Camp, where you can produce a new unit, the Color Guard, with his new rally ability. This unit will boost your other unit's attack and defense values. So yeah, that's our awesome new Easter event. We hope you have a lot of fun playing this. It was a lot of fun designing this, and uh, we also hope you find lots of eggs in Forge of Empires. So yeah, keep playing. Recently, Tribal Wars 2 had a visitor. Who could that be? Let's find out. The Tribal Wars 2 team had a very interesting visitor in the office this week. A barbarian came here to visit us and uh, give us some feedback about the game. Good morning, fair maiden. I have an appointment with your king. Which king? The Tribal Wars 2 king. First, he met the team. And then he shared some of his ideas. And some of his ideas were actually quite complex. And to be honest, I didn't really understand a lot of what he was saying. But uh, hey, at least he seems to like the game. You have to hurt the enemy, you have to attack the enemy. No, no, questions later. First we must attack. We then told him that the team had already implemented a lot of cool new features last year. Like one of them being the new balancing update, together with a whole new quest line. Now, players could recruit units a lot faster and build buildings a lot faster in the beginning of the game. We implemented a buff so that you can actually recruit units a lot faster than before. And we also added a possibility to get 20% more resources in all your villages for a whole seven days. Then we implemented tribe skills, something that no player in Tribal Wars has ever seen before. Something where you can donate your crowns and your resources to your tribe and unlock boosts for basically everything. We also added smart tips, something that guides the player for our core loop, like telling him, hey, your unit queue and your building queue is empty, build something, or use stuff that you have in your inventory. And then we added something that the barbarian didn't like very much. By introducing a new feature to our rally point, we increased the attack speed by almost 500%. And he didn't like that very much because that meant that attacks would reach every barbarian village within just minutes, really fast. But he did understand that it was something that we really had to do for the game. In the end though, everyone had a great time. And we're really proud about all the stuff we did last year. And we hope to see the barbarians soon again. Hey everybody, my name is Tim and I'm the new lead community manager for Tribal Wars. In this edition of Inu Games TV, I have two cool new features to share with you. The first bit of information is about a new quest line. As you probably know, we're constantly listening to your feedback. And one of the things that you've told us is that the old tutorial was just too slow and it didn't do the best job of pushing new players to build up an army quickly enough. So that's why we designed a new tutorial, and it helps players gain dominance faster. More specifically, the new quest line provides you with some of the quickest ways we know to build up your army, so you can start pillaging your neighbors even faster. The new tutorial is rolling out with each new world. We actually already have it featured in 18 versions, so there's a good chance that you're playing it right now. Let us know how you feel about it. Alright guys, the next thing I want to talk about is the new global event we're doing called the Noble's Fair. There's going to be a prize wheel and mini games, so make sure to log in each and every day to take part in the mini games and maximize your chances of winning cool prizes. Okay, everybody, I hope you liked those two points. Now, please stay tuned to our social media channels because in March we're going to be releasing new information about the Nobles Fair. So enjoy. Bye. Last month we got a lot of comments on YouTube asking, "Where's the West?" Well, it's back with Andreas, so let's go to him and see what he has to say. Hello everybody, I'm Andreas, the Community Coordinator for the West. Today I want to talk about our Four Battle Championship, which started in 2015 already. So let's have a look. As the group stage has just come to an end, let's have a look which team made it to the top in their respective groups. In Group B, Spain was able to come out victorious, being only one point ahead of Italy. 
After several tough battles, Hungary was able to win Group C. In Group D, it was a close call until the very last battle between Germany and Russia, which Germany was able to turn in its favor. At the time of recording, Poland and our international server are currently tied with 13 points each. When this episode goes live, the final match between those two teams will already have taken place. So which team it might be? Congratulations, you are one step closer to the finale. The winner of this match will go up against Spain in the last week of February, so it might have already happened when this episode goes live. The same applies for Germany and Hungary, who will fight for a spot in the grand finale, which will take place in the first week of March. We wish all remaining teams good luck and a lot of fun in the battles ahead. We want to thank all participants for joining our event and providing feedback to make the next championship even better. Also, a big thank you to our users who streamed the four battle matches on Twitch TV. During peak times, we had several hundred users watching the four battles live, which is outright amazing. So if you want to join in on the fun, check our forums and social media channels for the schedules and active streams. Last but not least, I want to give a big shout out to our community managers who worked really hard to make this event happen. So we hope that everybody enjoyed it as much as we did, and we hope to see you again next time. See you in the West. Now let's go over to Niels from the Grapplist team, who will tell you about the new features that they added in the mobile apps. Forums. Hello fellow players, I'm Niels, game designer of Grapplers, and today I'm happy to present to you the new forum and the BB codes on our app. Let's go. This is our current app on the island view. Now let's go to the main menu. Here you can see the Alliance Forum button on the right side. Now we're gonna enter that one. You might recognize this one looks totally different from the old look of the forum. Here is a main forum, which is called the Council. Entering it, you will now see a total different style and several different subforums. We created some of the subforums for you to show you. So here's a Diplomacy Forum, the Combat Forum, War Tactics and a Welcome Thread. You might recognize the different scroll icons on the left side. One is open and one is closed. The closed scroll displays that there's unread replies for you to see. The open one means that you just have read everything which is in there. On the top subforum, you might recognize the exclamation mark. This one means that somebody marked that one as an important subforum for you. On the bottom, you can see two buttons. One is for marking everything as red, so all the scrolls which are closed will vanish then. The other button is the new thread button. There you can open just a new thread, as it says. We are back on the combat subforum. You might notice there is another post inside, which also contains a show report sign. Let's click on the show report button. Here we go. Here you can directly see a troop report, which is brand new to it. Now let's go back to the forum. And now we will together write our own reply, adding some BB code. Therefore, we are going into the diplomacy subforum. Here. Again, there are some posts already written there. Now we're going to hit reply on the bottom. Here you can see we enter again some text. And then we are pressing the button for the BB codes, which is currently in the top right corner. And here we are. You can choose between three buttons either one for adding a player name a city name or an alliance name. Now we're going to add a player name here. While starting to write the name of a player, the system tries to autocomplete the name of existing players. We're gonna pick now that player which the system has already uh, shown to us. And here we are. Now you can see that the BB code for the player name is directly in our reply. And you might wanna know if this already works. I can tell you, yes it does. Now I'm going to show you how we can publish a report and then enter it via BB code. First of all, we are going on the main screen and from there to the reports. Now we're going to choose one of the reports for publishing. You can see it now has been published. Being back to the forum, we can now put that as a BB code inside a reply. We enter again for the reply, go for the BB codes again and here we click down below on the insert report function. Now we're going to pick one of our published reports here. And here you see the BB code directly in our reply, which we're now going to save. I really hope that you like what you just have seen. Keep in mind, it's a current development status. So long, try out the app and see you in game. So that was it for the March episode of Enno Games TV. If you like this episode, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook and Twitter. Plus, comment on the comment section below. We'll make sure to bring you the latest news and all your games. Bye!